Good morning, Cindy Berkland here with cindyberkland.com. And I just want to say how grateful I am today um, on this Memorial Day weekend for the men and women in our country who stood way before us and fought for this country. And we are a free country today because they paid the ultimate price. Um, a lot of us have friends and family members that literally gave their lives. They paid the ultimate, ultimate price uh, for, for us to have a country today that's free. And there's been so much going in, on in our country, um, but we truly live in the greatest country. We have the greatest nation in all the world. We are still a free country. And I'm so very proud to be an American. I am a patriot at heart. I love my country. I'm grateful to God for the people that went before me and I live the way I do because they fought and did whatever it took for us to live free. And we get to remember that um, we live free because of other people. And I, I see some things going on in the news today that I know that our forefathers and you know our grandparents uh, that have since passed away would, would be rolling in their graves if they could see this stuff today. And we get to honor them um, by going to the polls and voting and voting for freedom, guys. We get to vote and we cannot let people that gave the ultimate price their lives for our freedom to be in vain. We get to remember that when we go vote for our governors. We get to go remember that when we vote for our state treasurer. We get to remember that when... It's the next presidential election, and um, don't give up the fight, guys. If, if the highest price we have to pay is go to the polls and vote, then, wow, we, we have it easy. But for some, it wasn't even voting. It was we had to go to the front lines and give our lives for this country. And we live so spoiled now in our country. We're, we have the best country, even though we've got a lot of stuff going on. And it's not all good, you know, live in a country that's under communist rule or, uh, you know, don't have what we have. You know, they don't get to decide every morning when they wake up if they want to go get in their car and, and have, you know, have gas in their car or go buy groceries. So we get to remember that. And I just I just want to say thank you to those people that are in our military today and supporting us even as we speak. So on Memorial Day weekend, I just want to say that I'm grateful, and I hope you are too. Again, we live in America, the greatest country ever. Um, if this conversation interests you, get a hold of me at cindyberkland.com. Um, whatever that looks like, uh, we're here to support you, and have an amazing Memorial Day weekend.